lot of TV subscribers have some choice words for cable and satellite companies. Some AT&T customers are complaining of a bait and switch. We asked Anna Werner to look into that. Every month you open up your, your envelope and you go, okay, what's the surprise this month? Ladies and gentlemen, the cable monopolies is at it again, scamming you out of money. And they got the nerve to call common street thugs crooks. Well, I got to tell you about AT&T slash DirecTV and what they're trying to do to con you out of your money. And it starts right now. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. What's good, YouTube? You're in the building with y'all knowing, and loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything, the sexiest hell host. We're bringing you a Life Games review over AT&T slash DirecTV. And if you follow my channel, you should know you shouldn't have them. And we're going to discuss what they're doing. But first, plus seven of sexy as hell. Because we're working on skilling up our craft. Giving you a more informed experience. Something better to look at. Please subscribe to this channel. Click that notification bell so every time we drop videos, you grab them. Also, go over and like and follow the Life Games Facebook page because we do great things over there. We do giveaways. Let's talk about AT&T. By now, I'm hoping you guys have kicked your cable companies to the curb. Some of y'all might have gotten the streaming service, Direct TV service from AT&T. Listen to what I just read they're doing when you try to cancel. So first problem is you go online to subscribe to the service, but they won't let you go online to cancel the service. So what they're doing is they're incentivizing their phone reps when you call not to let you out of the service. Can I help you today? Because I keep getting bills for 7949 and my contract said that I was only going to pay $24.99 for two years. They're doing things like having their reps lie to you and say that they canceled your service when they really didn't and then you'll see fees coming out of your subscription later. Gary Reyes signed up for an AT&T promotion, internet and direct TV for around $100 a month for two years. When his first bill in July was nearly double that, he complained to AT&T. They're having their service reps tell you they're going to give you these new fresh deals that might include more premium TV. The minute you go walk in your living room and try it, it's not there. They're also telling you that we'll, count, we'll give you four months free and then cancel it later on. And they haven't been doing any of that. And this has happened in multiple states. There's some special um, discounts that I'm thinking about successfully being removed in error. Your bills are no longer combined. It wasn't done on our end, it was on your end. The pricing that you were getting is because you were a new customer with the services. Now you are an existing customer. We don't have to promote You guys need me a two year agreement. Yeah. What it is you need to know, ladies and gentlemen, when you go online, and, I mean, when you give these guys a call and they will not try to cancel your service. You tell them this, sir, I am recording this phone call and I have told you five times from Sunday that I want to cancel my service on XYZ day. You need to cancel my service because this call is recorded and if I see a charge, I've got this recorded call to let you know that I did cancel, okay? Now that might scare them into doing it, but even if they do tell you they canceled the service, you also need to have them email you something confirming what was said on the phone. So let's say that you do decide that you might want to keep their service, but they promise you X, Y, Z. You need to have a confirmation email immediately after that phone call confirming X, Y, Z. Let's say that after the phone call, they tell you that they are going to cancel your service. You need an email that says your service has been canceled when you said your service was going to be canceled. And if they don't provide you with those email notifications, you need to call them back 
record that phone call and get that stuff in writing or at least get it on the voice recorder so that there's no dispute when you go to your bank or your credit card and be like, you know what, I got this recorded, I told them let me out this thing. Folks, they don't wanna get with the program. Streaming is the way of the future. Underground streams have put a lot of pressure on these companies to reduce price. They don't seem to wanna to listen. And all I can see that's gonna come from this is more people are gonna start running to the underground. All I'm promoting is the best quality free above ground streams. But the reason people go and to these links is because they're getting treated like crap. I don't know when they're gonna wake up, if they ever wake up. All I can say is we have to keep watching for what the future is bringing us in terms of cord cutting and keep that bill in line so it meets your budget and you guys know you can always tune into this channel to see what is the latest and greatest going on in the cord cutting world and also just in the money saving world in general that's going to do it for this video don't forget to like my video comment and subscribe go get yourself a life game remember if you guys have any video requests Please send them to me via the Life Games Facebook page. Go over there and like it. It is in the video description. I love helping you guys out. I love when you guys give me great topics that can benefit everybody. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.